course, I always, 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 always put perfume on as I'm getting ready and as I'm doing my makeup. So the perfume that I'm gonna be putting on today is Fresh by Moschino. This is the, the scent is like a freshness. And I just, oof, I love it. But you definitely wanna just moisturize your skin. Figure out if you have combination skin, oily skin, dry skin. I have combination skin, and this is a really good moisturizer for me. This is by Good Jeans, and I'm gonna be getting some more, some new moisturizer. So this is a moisturizer for the daytime and the nighttime, and it came with a kit. This is the um, oil that you put on at night, and I noticed a major difference in my skin. Like my skin was like flawless when I started using this. It is pretty expensive but I think it's worth it. Again. Um, because I'm on camera, I like to do full coverage makeup. I like to look flawless um, at all times. And I really love to look flawless in my pictures and videos. And this uh, full coverage foundation definitely does that. Um, full coverage foundation is good if you have acne, problematic skin, hyperpigment hyperpigmentation, which is discoloration. Um, so yeah, I mean, or if you just like me and you just wanna beat face, ain't nothing wrong with that. So I place my foundation on here. Just okay. put this on here and distribute it. I really love applying my foundation with a beauty blender. The beauty blender is gonna give you a flawless face. It's gonna look airbrushed, it's gonna look flawless. So I am just going to place this and I am dabbing it in. I'm not swiping it. I am literally just dabbing it in. The beauty blender I did wet it you want to wet your beauty blender and you want to make sure all the water is squeezed out and you take a paper towel and make sure all you don't want it you just want it to swell up you don't want it to be drenched in water you don't want any water coming out of it you just want that thing to be um swelled up and then you can apply your makeup and you wanna do that as well with when you apply your powder as well. And you just wanna make sure everything is even, go under your neck if you have like a big, um, if you have like a double chin, if you have like a turkey neck, if you have like, you know, anything. Go under your neck and make sure that um, it's matching and it's looking good. When you do your makeup, always start with a clean face and, oil and get a good moisturizer. That is very important. I really like a powerful highlight. So I'm going to take my concealer and put it, place it under my eyes. I'm going to place it over here as well. On the top of my lip. Here. On my chin. Down my nose because we are going to be highlighting and contouring. Everybody loves a good highlight and contour. I like just a little bit on my forehead, and this is also full coverage as well. And I'm just going to do the same padding motions that I did with the foundation. And I'm bringing it down and making sure I get the cracks of my nose. And I'm just patting it gently, patting it in. You want it to just go down like this. And I'm gonna take my mirror and I'm going to hold it up so that I can make sure I get the creases 
I dab it, 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 up, 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 and I bring it up to my forehead. So you're gonna set that under eye now. So I like to set my under eye with the Morphe Banana. You can use this is what that looks like. I'm gonna dab it on my wrist, just to make sure that it's not like cakey and it's evenly distributed. And I'm gonna dab that right in the skin. Dab it in there. And bring it down. Everywhere you put that concealer, you're going to dab it in there. That's how it should be looking. That's how you should be looking. Now you need an all over powder because we put foundation on our entire face. So the reason why we set our makeup is so that our, melt, our makeup does not melt off so that um, it lasts all day. You have to set your makeup. When you do your eyebrows, you gotta set that concealer. When you do your foundation, you gotta set everything. Even if you're just not doing highlights and nothing like that and you just put foundation on, you need a powder to set it. So, so you can find a, a powder that is either the same complexion as your foundation, it's the same color as your foundation. You can find one that's a little, you can go a little bit lighter. Some people use lighter foundation and then use a darker all over powder. It's just what you feel comfortable with so we're just gonna use a fluffy powder brush and I'm dabbing this in dusting it off and I'm gonna go all over my face with this and as I'm going all over my face I'm dusting that powder off that we added so I'm just going in circular motions and I am going all around all around and so circular motions and I'm grabbing more dusting it and going all over Okay, this is how it should be looking. So now I'm gonna go ahead and contour two shades darker than your foundation. So this is the one that I'm using from MAC. It is MW50. You wanna contour from your, right here on your ear and you go down. If you go too low, it just it changes the shape of your face. So you wanna go up. So if you go like this with your face, That is where you want to contour, but I like my face to look up, more up, so I contour a little bit higher. So I start from here and I bring it down, and then I start going into circular motions, making sure that I'm not going any lower than here. So circular motions here and up and down and up and down and up and down. See what I'm saying? And because I don't like to wear a blush, I like my contour to be, you can see it when I'm looking forward. So, circular motions. And I, pro I stop right about here. Stop about here and you wanna blend it. Blend it going circular motions and going up and down, not too hard. You wanna have a light hand and I would say start start with a little bit of product and work your way up. Some people put it on their jawline, but I like to do mine under the chin because it just makes it look more chiseled. Get in, put it, dab it on my forehead. A contour is like a three. So one, two, and three. That is your contour. So I take it on the temples and put it in a circular motion. I'm going in a circular motion on my like hairline area. Circle, 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 circle. And when you're doing it, like I said, use a little bit. And if you feel like you need to build up some more, then that's fine. Just build it up some more. So I'm just, see what I'm saying, y'all? Who does not want a chiseled face? Who doesn't want a chiseled face? <laughs> 
people used to ask me do I get fillers I've been asked if I get fillers no I have never had any type of fillers injections or anything in my face girl you just got to get that contouring down pat once you get that contouring together you're gonna be good you're gonna be like oh wow I literally just changed my whole face <laughs> I've been asked if I had my nose done no And there you have for it. For your nose contour, you really don't need a lot. And sometimes I've, I've done my makeup and I'm like, oh my God, my nose contour is too much. So the way I like to contour my nose, I like to have a chiseled nose. And I like to like give myself like a fake bridge. So for me to do that, I contour up at the, t like to, I bring it to my eyebrows. And I like this area, this bridge area that I create, I like it to look as small as possible. So I take it from here. I take it here. Can you see that? See what I just did? Put it here. And then I do the same thing on the other side. Can you see what I just did? I just created like a bridge. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. And I'm taking it up to the brow and I'm going in circular motions. You see that? See what I'm saying? We just created a whole new face. <laughs> we just created a whole new face. Take it up to the brow and circular motions. It makes it look chiseled. And you can use the powder that you used earlier or you can use this powder. Sometimes I go back and forth. So I'm just gonna use that. You see that? Pressing it in. Now contouring the nose is, you just gotta practice that. Created, you just created a bridge with a shadow. And the sides are highlighted and the top is highlighted. So that's how you do your nose. <laughs> See, doesn't it look good? Hey, so we done put all that powder on. Now you have to spray your face with a liquid. Do you um, want to look dewy? Dewy means it looks like you've been kissed by the sun and your face looks a little bit shiny, glossy, but not greasy. Do you want to look matte? Do you want to look like this? And it's like completely matte, no shine, no nothing. I'm using the Urban Decay All Nighter. Just spray. And honey, I like to drench my face, okay? But I try to be careful because I don't want too much getting on my lashes, so. It's bringing everything that we did together. It's taking away ash. If you had, if you had too much powder or something and you feel like you're starting to look ashy, it's gonna take the ash away. It brings everything together. So I'm going to, I wanna look golden today so i'm gonna use this one Go and just add some on my on the tip of my nose because it makes you look like you have a cute little button nose i like to add it here and lightly bring it up bring it up and bring it down lightly and then you would just put your lipstick on or whatever You are absolutely flawless. You can do this. Some of you guys feel like it's too hard. It's not hard. You have to practice. Practice makes perfect. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next video. I love you so much. Mwah.